Okay, we have retained another integral from the MIT integration B from 2006. This is problem eight. We have the integral from zero to pi over two, sine cubed x, dx. Okay, I think I just wanna do some straightforward things on this and we'll take sine cubed here. I'm actually just gonna split this up. I can write this as sine squared x times sine of x. And then by doing that, I can use the identity on sine squared x. I can rewrite this as one minus cosine squared x, and we'll have this all times sine x. And then from here, what I'll do is just rewrite the integral. So rewriting everything, we're gonna have, we're still going from zero to pi over two, we'll bring down one minus cosine squared x. And then here I'm gonna have sine x dx. But now I think we're in really good shape for a u substitution because I have cosine here and we have sine dx here, and that's gonna work out pretty well. So when I do this, let's see, we'll have for my u, I'm gonna do u equal to cosine of x, take a derivative, so du is gonna be just minus sine x dx. And so what I'll do, because we have a minus right here, I'm gonna to wanna to make this, I want everything here to be exactly du. So I can just multiply here. I'll just multiply here by minus, and then this is exactly our du, but I don't wanna change it, so I'll bring a minus sign out front. And now we'll just go ahead with our substitution. So first I'll take pi over two, plug it in here, Cosine pi over two, that's just zero. And then plugging zero in, cosine of zero is gonna be one. Then bringing down this piece, it's just gonna be one minus u squared. And again, this whole thing's just du. But then what I'll do is take this minus sign and use it to swap the bounds, because we want the greater bound to be the top, the upper bound. So we're going from zero to one on this. And then I'll just go ahead and integrate. So this is gonna be integral of one is u. Integral here of u squared is gonna be minus u cubed over three, and we just need to evaluate from zero to one. Everything at zero is gonna be zero. So what we'll do is we'll just plug in one here, and we get one minus one cubed, which is just one over three. One minus the third gives me my final solution of just two over three. Okay, there you have it. Quick and easy problem from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.